wanted to run through Baker's um, basic behaviors we've been working on. So we'll start out with watch me. It's fist to chin. Baker, watch me. Yes. So watch me is super easy, but it's really important. So if he's looking at you, keep thinking about you. Um, it really helps when you're in a public setting. Boy. We also have stand. Yes. So this is the cue for stand. It's actually moving away. So Baker. Sit. Good boy. Stand. Yes. When I'm working on something fairly new, um, I will mark it with yes. So right when he got into that stand position, I said yes. And then I want to be able to reward within a few seconds. So, okay, Baker. Baker, sit. Down. So I'm going to go ahead and lower him if he needs a little help. Baker, down. Yes. Okay, so we're going to try it again. I want to try to do it without a treat in my hand. Stand. Oh boy. Sit. Baker, watch me. Down. Baker, down. Good boy, watch me. Yes. Good boy. Good. I want to go ahead and show you a stay. So our hand cue on stays a flat palm. If I ask him to stay, I always want to release him from the stay. And he could do it from a sit or down position. Sit. Stay. Back. On this day, I'm going to come back and reward him. Make her stay. Uh -uh. Stay. Yes. It doesn't matter what you're doing. I'm just trying to do something to distract him. Stay. Good, and when it's done, we release him. Okay. Right? Uh, the next behavior I want to go through is leave it. So leave it means don't touch it, don't mess with it. Um, leave it could mean to leave a person alone or another dog. Um, so if he kept going up to somebody and getting overly excited, you could ask him to leave that person alone. But this is how we practice it um, to get the foundation work down. So exercise one, I'm going to put the, my hand out with a tree and ask him to leave it. So Baker, leave it. Yes. So that was beautiful. I'm looking for the eye contact up to me. Yeah, he's not even trying. So that was great. Okay. Exercise two. I'm going to put the leave it on the floor. And this time I'll actually cross it off. So, okay, Baker. Leave it. Leave it. Ah, leave it. Yes. Let's try to get out of my tree pouch. Leave it. Yes. Cool. Good. I'm delaying my yes just a little bit. Um, just to work on duration. Okay. And then the last way we're going to do it, I'm going to drop the tree from above and I will block it with my foot if I need to. So. Yes. So I didn't say leave it, but he was definitely leaving it because he looked at it and then he looked at me and I'll take that. Good. Try it one more time. He, he already left it, but I'm just making it harder for him because he's doing really good. Yes. All right, the next thing I want to show you is park it. So one of the things with park it, if normally I have a bed back there, when I'm going to practice, I'm going to move my bed. So me moving the bed becomes a cue that we're about to work on park it. Uh, park it means to go lay down and relax on your bed. So I'm going to put this down. So you feel like, oh, we're doing that thing. So watch me. Baker, park it. Baker, park it. So 
So when I say park it, I'm gonna look at the mat, I will look at him, and then I look at the mat where I want him to go. Good boy, Baker. And then here I can just walk around and toss some treats and reward him for holding it. Good, Baker. Good. <laughs> Good. So we could really build this up for duration. Um, I might sit down on my couch and watch TV and maybe just randomly reward him for not getting up. So really rewarding for being calm and relaxed when we're doing this. So eventually you can practice things like going and knock on your door or go sit at your table or do other things where he's learning. It doesn't matter what you're doing. He's going to keep chilling out on his mat. Good boy. Okay, Baker. And then again, our okay means he's done. He can get up if he wants to.